Welcome back. I'm in the grow room again. Big surprise. I'm always here. Today we're going to address uh, the growing of plants in the cap ebb and grow system as well as this flood table. These are probably the two most popular systems used in North America to grow long-term crops to maturity. Um, the way this cap ebb and grow system is, it's pretty basic. You have a series of pots and each one of these pots has a solid as well as an insert that goes inside. This insert obviously is filled with a, a myriad of drain holes. Each one of these pots is then connected to a piece of black tubing, and this black tubing is then plumbed back to a controller bucket. This controller bucket is really the heart and soul of this system. Uh, it, there's a pump inside that's linked up to this timer. When this timer kicks on, this bucket floods. This bucket flood height dictates how high each one of these buckets is going to flood to. It also has a timer on the front. The timer allows us to set the frequency or the amount of times the flood cycle happens throughout the course of the day. Ours is set for four flood cycles right now. Behind it, I don't know if you can see it, is a 55-gallon reservoir. Um, what's imperative that we talk about real quickly is that if you have a reservoir that's not part of a recirculating system, it is of utmost importance that you install some type of aeration. Uh, what we have in there is a micropore diffuser hooked up to a fairly powerful air pump. This uh, creates a continuous flow of oxygen throughout our bath, and this decreases the amount of uh, root-borne disease that we see because they cannot survive in that oxygen-rich environment. So the question should be, how do I set this up for optimum performance using sure to grow And it's, it's really quite easy. Uh, we take a little bit of our uh, loose fill here, and we fill this insert up. I have this filled up about halfway. Um, I like to use the sure to grow loose fill over you know, the variety of other options I have, such as hydrogen, because of the fact that ease of use. With hydrogen, I not only have to lug that heavy bag to wherever it is where my system is located, I then have to rinse all that hydrogen out to ensure that I'm going to eliminate as much of that clay residue as possible. Ironically, you can't eliminate it all. And it ends up percolating through your system and once again, clogging outlets, screwing with your pumps, creating debris inside your reservoir. With sure to grow we don't have that problem. We put it in here, we press it down, it's like pill stuffing folks, so make sure you get plenty of it in there. Then I take one of our four inch blocks, and I'm going to take a moment here to dispel the rumor that our four inch blocks or any of our products do not hold water, or they're not nearly as water efficient as some of our competitors. In this bucket right here I have 48 ounces of water. Take a look at this. Oh, keep waiting. We're going to be here a while, folks. In an attempt at from keeping this being too boring, let me just wring out the rest of this. We're looking at about an 82-18 ratio. And what I'm saying is that the capacity of this block to hold water, 82% of its volume can be uh, used to hold water and or nutrient. So if there's a concern that you may have had expressed to you by one of your fellow growers or another hydroponic guy maybe at the store, you can show them this video and prove to them that in fact, this stuff is absolutely amazing. So what I'd like you to do with this four inch block is saturate it. Place it right on top of that loose fill, like I showed you before. Take one of our inch and a half transplants, one of our grow cubes, slide it right inside. Take a little bit more of this loose fill. Man, this stuff is easy to work with. A lot better than those darn rocks, and a heck of a lot better than that, uh, what is it, that, that fiberglass uh, insulation? Oh, rock wool. Um, so we tuck this in here, And it's that easy. You know, it's hard to imagine a product that's going to allow your roots to penetrate easier than this. I mean, pillow stuffing. And as exciting and as performance-oriented as this product is, and the results that you're going to re receive from this are going to blow your mind. Take a look at this. You say, well, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. And you're right, you haven't, because it's never been available. 
What these are is a series of inserts that we're testing uh, right now. And how easy would this be? No loose fill, no block, just an insert that drops right in. It weighs nothing, 95% air void. So then I just take my transplant, pop it in the top, and we're done. I've just caught my, uh, my prep time by about 85%. Pretty amazing. So when we're talking about this ebb and flood system, let's take a look at the light. We, uh, we like to address that. For a system like this in which you're going to grow a lot of plants to maturity, you know, 55 to 65 days, long-term plants, you're going to need a lot of lumens. And you're going to want a high-intensity discharge lamp. During the grow phase, I suggest a metal halide lamp. And as the plants start to develop blooms and bud sets, you're going to want to switch to a high-pressure sodium. You may be asking yourself why. Plants require different frequencies of light during their growth phases. During vegetative growth, they like that blue-white end of the spectrum, which is produced by the metal halide. And during the blooming sequence and the fruit setting sequence, they're going to want that 30 to 3200 degree Kelvin frequency of light, which is that orange to yellow. That mimics fall on this planet. And the plants are designed throughout evolution to receive that light and produce a nice, heavy harvest. So let's take a moment and review why STG is a superior product to use in a system like a flood drain or an ebb and grow. First of all, it's clean, hygienic, and it's easy to use. Second, it requires no pretreatment. It's ready to use right out of the box. Who wants to fix a product that's broken from the start? It holds 30 to 50 times its weight in water. This is an amazing claim, but it's absolutely true. This allows your plants plenty of nutrient and water to grow to their full potential. It's free draining and will refresh itself with every system flush. It's non-wicking, which means none of that nutrient and water are going to make it to that very top layer, therefore keeping those tops pristine and white. And overall, STG is just going to enhance your growing experience. It's going to decrease the amount of time it takes you to set up. It's going to decrease the amount of time it's going to take you to clean up. And most importantly, there's never going to be that fear that what you're working with is dangerous. There's no concern whether or not the fibers are going to make you itch, whether they're going to perforate your lungs, or whether you're just going to be covered in this clay residue. So give STG a shot. There's no reason not to. So if you have any questions regarding the entire line of sure to grow products currently available, please view our webpage at suretogrow.com. And if you have any questions regarding the use of our product in any growing system, please contact me at grow at suretogrow.com. Have a great day.